I'm Bill. That's Bogner. We're with Kelly Motor TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the base of Lake Hennessy and welcome back to the all new 2022 Panigale V4S. Bogner's bike. She's mad because she's got to ride the all new 2022 S1000 RR with the selfie stick attached to the back. If you guys haven't followed uh, Bogna's uh, so, fine, so Tiny But Fierce Instagram, go check that out. She's actually got some pretty cool um, like uh, drone looking footage. Uh, we actually had one where I had it on and it was like way out and it was recording her behind me. It was actually a cool, cool little video. So uh, go check out some of her reels over on Instagram. So Tiny But Fierce. But uh, I get to steal this for a ride up to uh, Turtle Rock, you ready? We're on a little holiday today. So hopefully traffic was heading up here a couple minutes ago, but it's like we got a little break between some cars, so this is good. So get you out on the road here. So we're in sport mode. Go through our settings, uh, Dynamic Traction, Ducati Traction Control 3, Wheelie Control 1, Side Control 2, EVC 1, so that's the brake control, and Traction Control. So, all right, so first of all, let's get out of first gear, because I know you guys yelled at me last time. Uh, I do want to point out this: these gears on this Ducati are really tall uh, in the early uh, gearing so you know we're at like 70 miles an hour and let's go up, let's go up into first you know that's only 10,000 rpms this thing goes up to s almost 16,000 rpms so you'll notice on some of the ride as we get up here into the twisties that the um, in second gear uh, the rpms are going to drop pretty low down in the six five six thousand rpms and then five, 6,000 RPMs on a bike that goes up to 16,000 RPMs, the torque is so low. So it's just nice to keep it up in the torque band, but I know you guys yelled at me for riding in first gear, but I did want to explain that, that this, this bike is really designed to be able to use first gear uh, on these lower speeds. So, but um, we are on the S1000 uh, RR earlier today. A nice little, a nice little breakfast, brunch, I guess you'd call it, a holiday brunch. Got it. Cafe Serifornia. So I've only ridden this bike once on the street. You guys have seen that video. Uh, I've ridden this a couple times on the track recently. Uh, in fact, uh, I didn't shoot any footage. We were at her track days last weekend on the West track, which is the two mile tight technical track. And actually I really enjoyed this bike on that tight technical track because the bike just, it just does well. Uh, I did have it on the three mile track recently. Unfortunately, I did some videos and I had some audio issues where it's crackling. Uh, one of my mics went out. And of course, all the videos from that day just didn't turn out. So, thought I'd bring this thing out on a quick ride on the streets for you guys. You guys know this is my favorite road. Out to Lake Hennessy and then Turtle Rock by Lake Berryessa. Lake Hennessy is actually to the left of us. That's this lake here is Lake Hennessy. So yeah, so the bike is, um, I, it, this bike is growing on me. Now, I talked in the BMW uh, video, some pros and cons of why I like the BMW and why I like this bike. Uh, so I'll talk about why I like this bike and why I don't like this bike <laughs> compared to the BMW. So, first of all, you know, a couple of elephants in the room. I really like, you know, I don't know why in today's standard we don't have cruise control and heated hand grip stock on every bike nowadays. I don't know why Ducati couldn't give us this. Um, it's not a necessity. I know it's a sport bike, but it is kind of nice 
to have when we are running on the uh, um, on the freeway in some of the lo longer stretches. And then uh, the heated hand grips, again, not too big of a, like, I don't care. But it's just kind of something that's nice to have. Now, I'll say that the suspension on the Panigale is hands down a lot better in the auto mode, I guess you can call it, or Ducati's dynamic mode, where it really, uh, it really adapts better on the road than the uh, S1000RR. The S1000RR, you know, you can't really change any of the dynamic settings of this suspension. Now, you can change the back fixed settings. The body is actually called fixed. But, uh, I don't like the way this feels in the front right now. I'm hitting these little tar snakes and I actually feel like I'm losing the front, which is really weird. I don't know if you guys can see the, the bars jiggle jiggle. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fold. So yeah, the suspension in the Ducati hands down is, is much better platform. I like on the Ducati, uh, that mode uh, screen that I showed you earlier, it's to the lower right of the screen and that toggles here and here, which allows you on the fly to change things like Ducati wheelie control, slide control, traction control, ABS, where the BMW does not allow you to do it. Now, I know a lot of people when I complained about it on the old S1000RR, oh, you should be riding, you shouldn't be. Well, there's some times, like right now, that I can go down there and go, hey, you know what, let's add a little bit more wheelie control or a little bit more traction control. Um, it's just, it's nice to be able to have that ability instead of stopping completely and going into the back menu. So I really like that Ducati has given us that. I hope that BMW changes their way at some point in life So, give you guys a little bit of rip while we got some open ground. Of course, there's not much exhaust sound. We've got the stock exhaust on this thing. to take this in for its first service so we've already changed the oil once about a hundred and I think 25 miles I think we changed the oil once and then now we've got to get it in just to get that 600 miles 634 mile service done So if you guys watched the tack while I ran through there, you'll understand how first gear is feasible to ride in and is pretty usable. I wonder what it tops out at. Let's see what hit the rev limiter first. So actually that's funny, so the rev limiter actually hits in at 14,000 RPMs in first. Now I don't know if that's a break-in 
thing, so we'll have to pay attention to that later on in life. That is very interesting. So, uh, Riding position on the Panigale is a little bit more aggressive than the S1000RR. The S1000RR, you're kind of more in the bike. This, you're more on top of the bike. So this demands definitely to be ridden more. This is not a, a first leader bike. I would not recommend this as a first leader bike. S1000RR is a, a good first leader bike. It's very easy to ride. This thing, I don't want to say it wants to kill you, I think that's more of an Aprilia, but it definitely demands that you ride this thing more than the S1000RR. This fucking acceleration is just so stupid on this bike. It's just so damn fast. Speaking of which, Today we've got a truck picking up the bikes and taking them down to Mexico to the farm roads for some heads up between a fully modified S1000 RR friend tune, fully exhausted, and a completely stock Ducati Panigale V2, excuse me, V4S. So stick around for those videos. We're gonna have a little drag race Bogner's gonna ride this, I'm gonna ride that, and then we're gonna do a swapper. And uh, I'm gonna ride that, and she'll ride this, or vice versa, forget how I said it. Let's get off this thing. It's a hot boy. Hot boy. Whew. I don't know, the front end is, the front end is feeling a little weird. So, the first part of, of Lake Hennessy, when I was hitting those snakes, I was losing front. On this also? Yeah, I was losing my ass though. Oh, okay. Well, I don't feel as bad, but yeah, I was like, definitely like the, the front was, yeah, okay. I mean, it's, it's hot today, it's like 90 degrees, so it's a warmer day, but man, two absolutely gorgeous bike. The S1000RR and of course the Panigale V4S. Um, we're gonna be out at Moto America soon, so stay tuned. Uh, Ducati revs is the Monday after. Uh, BMW has to stay at home. But of course, we're gonna have the Panigale V4S, the Street Fighter V4S, and hopefully we'll have the V2 uh, back. We have kept on the wraps what's happening. It's in the shop, um, and so hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to talk about that. It's been two months now and uh, we've got another week before a part comes in, and then when that part comes in, then we've got some di more diagnosis to do, but um, hopefully we'll have the Panigale V2 out for uh, the REVS event. So thank you guys. Uh, do the normal, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and then ring the bell notification. Bell notification is gonna give you future notification of future content on the channel. Uh, thank you guys for coming along and riding with us. Make sure you follow So Tiny But Fierce uh, right here. And uh, she's got some great reels coming up, so stay tuned. Some good pictures on this, reels for that. But thank you guys for sticking around, and we'll see you next video. Bye, guys.